Hello YouTube friends and family, it's Vanessa and today I came to share another bag with you. Um, my last video was about the CC um, and when I introduced you to the CC, which is here, I gave you a sneak preview of another bag called the Mercer and it has a really long name. Uh, let's see here and I start getting it open here for you and I'm going to tell you the full name of it but anyway this one is called the Mercer Medium Tricolor Pebbled Leather Belted Satchel so Mercer Medium Tricolor Belted Satchel uh, yeah it's a lot but here it is just going to peek around make sure you're getting this in view here Maybe I should just back up and then that way I'm sure. So here it is and this is in the color olive. And yes, I bought this when I bought the CC and I wasn't sure which bag I wanted to keep. And I was just going to keep them at home and look at them and try and decide. And then I had decided on keeping the CC. Um, but still the Mercer is here. I haven't brought it back. There's just something about it that I really, really like. And I didn't think that I would need two green bags, but the style is just so different. I love the color blocking. I love the lightweight um, feel to it. The pebbled leather is nice, um, but at the same time, it's not one of those hard pebbled leathers that, you know, some of the Michael Kors bags can be. They're sometimes really hard. This feels really good. It's soft. It's pliable. Um, let's look at dimensions here. Come on. All right. So it says that it is 13 wide, 13 wide by nine and a half high and five and a half deep. So it's a nice size bag but still very lightweight. I love that it has feet. I love, again, that it's so pliable and it's not really stiff or whatever. The belting is real to me is really cute. I keep bringing the bag down, looking at it myself instead of sharing it with you. Um, this little key thingy, I mean lock thingy, that's just a little bit of added... Um, a little added touch to it on the inside it does have a shoulder strap so that you can make it crossbody and let's see where are you supposed to hook those I guess on the sides here hmm no are there any d-rings anywhere wow I'm going to have to look at how they have that online because I don't know where you're supposed to attach them. I don't see D-rings. And if you attach it there and there, it would seem like you have to pull the, the belts out. I'm missing something here. There's got to be D-rings. And I just don't see them. That's odd. So we're just going to set that down for a minute so that I can show you the uh, makeup of the bag that I've been kind of showing you all along but there's a pocket there on the front and then there's another slip pocket here that's just open for easy access slide your phone into it you know that's kind of perfect and it's nice and deep and even my phone is pretty long it's a like 6.7 inch phone and so it slides all the way in there very comfortably don't have to worry about it falling out on the inside it's lined in black which I don't really love but the lining is nice mm. it's got two slip pockets here I'm really just looking at looking it over and, and trying to decide if I'm gonna keep it but there's two slip pockets there on the front and then on the back wall there is a another pocket another slip pocket and then there's also on the back wall a zippered pocket. So there is the zippered pocket. And I just really like the color of it. 
I think the uh, styling of it is cute. It's a nice size. You can fit a lot in it. But at the same time, it's not going to be too heavy because the leather is so lightweight. It's a great go-to-work bag and don't have to feel like you're loaded down if you have to take buses or trains or whatever. Or even just riding in your car and you're grabbing your stuff and going into work, the bag is just not heavy. Now, what you put in it and cause it to be heavy, that, you know, that's on you. But, oh, it also has a key keeper. Almost forgot about that. And I've got to figure out where these D-rings go. But there is the key keeper. It's still attached with a little... Uh, plastic, whatever you call those things. Um, let's see if I can see where those go. Surprised I didn't think about that before. Uh, let's see if I can see a picture. Oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna try and see if I can zoom that so I can show you all. And it is attached on the outside. Can you all see where the um, strap is attached and it is on those little things on the side so that looks like that's going to require a little work to get those on because it looks like this belt takes up all of the room in that space but we're going to give it a try I don't want to scrape anything up well that one wasn't too bad going on I guess I didn't try hard enough the first time Alrighty. I guess to say the only thing that I don't like about this bag is that the handles stick up. But I love the styling of the bag so much I was willing to deal with that. But I don't really like the handles that stick up. There's a bag called the Benning that's pretty similar to this in style. And the handles do um, are hinged so they fall down. Let's see if I can back up here and show you what it looks like on. Okay, so there you can see what it looks like on my shoulder. Put the shoulder strap on. To me, it hangs in a nice place right here. The shoulder strap is skinny, but not as skinny as some bags. So I don't think I'm going to have too much of a problem with it cutting into my shoulder if I have it overstuffed, which I don't plan on. But I just really like it, and I'm having a hard time. Um, deciding which bag has to go back now because I really only planned on keeping one of the green bags. But Miss Cece here is just so different to me. I thought I had already made my decision. Cece, Mercer, I don't know. I'm still confused as to which bag I should keep. No feet. Very super soft, luxurious leather. Soft pebbled leather with feet. Really more of a take it to work bag. And this one to me is a more dressy bag. Or if you want to look cute on the weekends going somewhere. I don't know. So y'all let me know what you think, which bag I should keep and uh, which one I should let go of, get it back to the store pretty soon so that someone else can possibly enjoy it. And um, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.